Hey guys and welcome to part 2 on my video on Venn diagrams. So in this video we're actually going to draw up a Venn diagram given the information that we have. So the information says in a study 200 people were asked if they have a dog, cat or fish. The results of the study are shown below. So we have 104 people said they have a dog, 106 people said they have a cat, 50 people said they have a fish, 20 people said they had a dog and fish, 26 people said they had a cat and fish, 175 people said they have at least one pet, and 12 people said they have all three pets. So A asks us to represent the above data in a Venn diagram. Okay, so we're going to build this Venn diagram and it's already three circles intersecting because they told us that there were 12 people who had all three pets. So the pets that we are going to put down is a dog, a cat and a fish. Now when working with a Venn diagram, the best way to start is to start with the intersection of all three. So we're going to look at the intersection of all three pets and they told us that it was 12. So you start working from the inside to out. And then after looking at the intersection of all three, we're going to look at the intersection of two. So we just have to see where they speak about two things happening. So we have here 20 people said they have a dog and fish. Now remember from the previous video, if you hear the word and, it means intersection. So they're saying that 20 people have a dog and fish. This is the intersection of dog and fish. So we're looking at this entire thing. They didn't say how many people, um, 20 people have a dog and fish only. So it includes this entire thing, dog and fish, not excluding cat. And so because of that, to find out the people who have a dog and fish only, meaning in this part of the circle, a dog and fish only, you're going to have to say the 20 people who have a dog and fish minus the 12 people, because we want to find out the people who only have a dog and a fish. So this is going to be 20 minus 12, which gives you eight. Okay, and then next we're going to look again at any other intersection of two circles that we have. So we have another one here. 26 people say they have a cat and fish. So this is the intersection of cat and fish. So these people, everybody here in total, the people who have a cat and fish, this is 20, 26, sorry. And so we have to find the people who have a cat and fish only. So you have to say 26 minus 12, and that's going to give you the people who have a cat and fish only. And so we have 14 people here who have a cat and a fish only. Another useful thing to do is when you have already recorded the information, you can just go ahead and tick it off. So we recorded that, we've recorded these two as well. Now remember, you have to work from the inside out, meaning the intersection of all three, the intersection of two, and then these ones. So if you keep looking in this info, you're going to see that they don't tell us anything about people who have a dog and cat. Okay, don't say anything about those people. And so since that is the only thing that is missing, we can go ahead and call that X. So we're calling the intersection of dog and cat only. Okay, so dog and cat only, that is X. And now we can go on to working with the bigger circles. And the bigger circles are, for example, the first one, they say 104 people have a dog. So notice they don't specify that these people could have a cat or a fish. They don't say these people have a dog only. They say they have a dog. So it includes every number that is in the dog circle. So in order to find the people who have a dog only because this part will give you the dog only it's not intersecting any other circle we're going to have to take 104 and then subtract by 8 and subtract by 12 and x in order to find out the people who have a dog only and so if you take 104 minus 8 minus 12 minus x 
8 and minus 12, that's like 104 minus 20 minus x. Okay, and that will give us 84 minus x. So that's what's going to go in here. Okay, so we're done with that one as well. And then we're also looking at 106 people because we're just looking for the big circles now. 106 people say they have a cat. So it's a total of 106 people. This entire circle will give us 106. So we just need to find the people who have a cat only. And so to find them, we'll say 106 minus 12 minus 14 and minus x. And that gives us 80 minus x. So 80 minus x people have a cat only. Okay, so now we're done with that one. And then the last one we have, well, not the last one, but of the bigger circles, we have 50 people have a fish. So again, this is the entire circle here. These people have a fish. So we just want to find other people who have a fish only. So we'll go ahead and say 50 minus 8 minus 12 and minus 14. And then that gives us 16. So 16 people have a fish only. Okay, so we're done with that part. And so the only one we have not really touched on is this one. 175 people said that they have at least one pet. So they're saying the people who have at least one pet. The people here, they have a dog only. People here have a dog and a cat only. Okay, But if you looked at it like this, these are people who have a dog and a cat. Not only, they just have a dog and a cat regardless of whether they have a fish. These people also have a fish as well because 12 is included. And then these people here have a cat only. These people here have a cat and fish only. The people here have all three. So if you looked at these ones, they have a cat and fish. Okay. So clearly you'll see now that everybody who is inside the circle, they have at least one pet. They have one pet. These people have two pets. These people in the center have three pets, they have all three. These people have only one pet, a cat. Okay, so everybody who is in here has at least one pet. And so them telling you that 175 people have at least one pet, this info is going to help you find the people who don't have any pets. So since everybody here should add up to 175, and we know that there's a total of 200 people in this study, then it means that the people who don't have a pet, you would say 200 minus 175. And so we'll find out that 25 people don't have any of these pets. Okay, so we have finished filling in the Venn diagram. The only thing we have to do is to find X, but they will ask us that in the question. So the first, the second question B, how many people don't have any of the pets mentioned in the study? And so you saw how we found that we take the 200 people minus the 175 people because all of them have a pet and we'll find out that 25 people don't have a pet. And then C, how many people have a dog and a cat, but not a fish? So we're looking for people who have a dog and okay so and think of intersection and a cat okay so in here but they say but not a fish so that means they're talking about this part over here these people have a dog and a cat excluding a fish not a fish so this is clearly asking us to solve for x so this is one way that you can solve for x remember that everybody in this venn diagram they should add up to 200 people because there are 200 people in this study. So you can take everything that you have here, add it up and equate it to 200. So we could say 84 minus X plus X plus 80 minus X plus eight plus 12 plus 14 and 16 and 25 is equal to 200. And so if you add up all the numbers because they're saying plus and plus, you end up getting 239. And then let's look at what happens to the x. We have a negative x and a positive x, so they would just become zero. And then we have a minus x, 
and then nothing else is equal to 200. So you can go ahead and take x over or add x to both sides and then have 239 and say minus 200. So we're taking 200 over. And so we're going to get 39 people. So that's x, 39. Okay, so that's one way of finding x. There's also another way that you could have used instead of equating them to the total. They told you something. They told you that 175 people said they have at least one pet. So it means that everything in the circles add up to 175 because everybody here has at least one pet. So you could have also add everything up here and equate it to 175 and then solve for x and you'd also get 39. Okay, so that is the answer of C, 39. We can also go ahead and just replace um, in place of x, put 39 so that we can just find out what these are. So 84 minus 39, so that gives us 45. So we know 45 people have a dog only. And then by x, we know that x is 39, so there's 39 people here. And then lastly, 80 minus 39, and that gives us 41. So there we go, our Venn diagram is complete. Okay, and then the question in D is asking, what is the probability, so not just the number, the probability of randomly choosing someone who has two pets? So I want you to see that this is very different from the question that we did in the previous video where it said the people who have at least two pets. At least two pets means the lowest amount of pets they can have is two. But when we have chosen people who have okay two pets, then we're going to have to look for people who actually have two pets. So these people, they have dogs only. They have one dog only. So 45 people have a dog only. We cannot take them. We have to take the intersection of two things. So this would be 39 people. These people have a dog and a cat only. If you take 12, 12 people have a dog, a cat, and a fish. That's three pets. So we can't take them. We have to take people who have only two pets. So that's 39 people. We can also take people who have a dog and a fish. That would be eight people. And the people who have a cat and a fish. And that will be 14 people. So D, it is 39 plus 8 plus 14 all over, because they say the probability, all over 200. And so that gives us 61 over 200. Okay, and that's the end of this video. If you found this helpful, please leave a like and subscribe for more videos like this.